I don't care what anybody says, man. Dribbling has never been better than what it is in NBA 2K24 because you can create an infinite amount of combos. And when I say infinite, I mean infinite. With the amount of signature animations that's available in NBA 2K24, you can create your own sets of combos. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But not only combo, we're going to show you how to properly combo and create your own set of dribble blends so that your defenders are not able to guard you and you can take advantage of poor defenses by putting together creative combos. So let's first talk about animation blending. So animation blending is important because this allows two animations to flow seamlessly into each other. Exactly what I do here. After a combo move from Booker, I combo that into a side hop jumper, not allowing Jimmy Butler to react. And that's exactly what I do with this LeBron Pro Play combo, comboing from an aggressive breakdown into LeBron's signature hop jumper, and my defender was stunned. The big problem I see with a lot of combos from different types of players is that they're very disjointed. I prioritize combo effectiveness, but also the ability to blend things together, which I do right here. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss in this part of the video. So you want to choose dribble animations that flow well from one animation to another. So I start here with a Tatum between the legs size up and the Fox regular breakdown. And why I chose those two specific animations is that they blend perfectly with each other. Tap the right stick left and then up to immediately combo that Tatum tween size up to cancel that and interrupt into that Darren Fox regular breakdown dribble which adds that nice hezzy dribble right there. But we're not stopping there. After that Fox regular breakdown dribble, we hold R2 and tap up on the right stick to use the Jamal Murray aggressive breakdown dribble. Take a look at how these two animations combo with each other. Here, I'm holding R2, tapping up on the right stick, and the Fox regular breakdown immediately combos into that nice Jamal Murray aggressive breakdown dribble. But now say I want to add a combo move and I'm using the Moran combo move that Ja Morant combo move, which gives you a lot of forward pressure and side-to-side -side movement, actually combos really well with the Tatum size up. So I hope you see the vision of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to find animations, two animations at a time, that will combo well with each other so that we can create a full combo out of all of those different dribble animation blends. And that's exactly what I do right here. Let's start with the John Moran combo move, tapping the right stick from left to right, and then tap the right stick left for that Tatum tween, right stick up for the Fox breakdown, R2 and up for the Murray aggressive breakdown, and R2 and down left for the Jamal Murray behind the back, giving you a full set of animation combos that blended well with each other. So now let's add a wrinkle. I'm going to use the Kevin Durant regular breakdown combo, which is one of my favorites. So don't forget that you have your different signature size up combos, which again, you can link with any of the dribble blends that we are trying to create. But be careful, these prolonged dribble sequences open you up to vulnerabilities of getting plucked. So my thought process in choosing these animations are, one, do they give you options to branch out of them? And two, do they smoothly combo with different types of animations I like to use? For example, executing this Jamal Murray aggressive breakdown gives you a lot of side-to-side -side and attacking movement that will freeze your defender. That hesitation right here, in combination with the Paul George crossover hop jumper, is one of the ways I can blend combos into an aggressive position. Now, the KD regular breakdown dribble is one of my favorites because of a lot of distance it covers, that side-to-side -side movement, and a lot of change of face possibilities. Combo this with aggressive signature animations like the Luka step back or the Harden escape, and then eventually the Jamal Murray behind the back, you give yourselves options to attack your defender with different types of animations. So I also like to use the Harden attack crossover because of the angle that it creates. In addition to that, you can combo that Harden escape with some of the dangerous spin moves and the one I'm using right here is the Rosen spin. It's all about making sure that those two animations blend well with each other so that your combos are more effective. So out of these signature animations, let's take a look at this short combo I create. It's very smooth, right? So first, tap up on the right stick for that KD regular breakdown. Hold R2, tap up on the right stick for that Murray aggressive breakdown, and then hold R2 and up left after that Murray hezzy into that Paul George hop jumper. 
This full combo basically extends that by adding the Tatum Tween so that you can create more diverse combos. So here's an example that the choice of signature animations actually matter. I can flow well from one move to another, mixing things up and making sure I'm not predictable. Now suppose I want a more aggressive combo. That KD regular breakdown can be comboed into the Morant combo move, giving you forward pressure after that side-to-side -side movement from the KD regular breakdown, giving that side-to-side -side and diagonal attack, retreating with the Lucas step back, faking a three-point shot for example, and then comboing that into a crossover and then a step back jumper. Again, you can create different types of combos. You can create a nice change of pace combo, if you want to make sure that you switch things up against your defender, here you use the De'Aaron Fox regular breakdown instead of the KD regular breakdown and it gives you different types of options. Now from these animations, I like to create loud combos and what I call loud combos are combos that are loud. For lack of a better term meaning, they're exaggerated. The Ja Morant side to side combo move in combination with the side motion that you get out of the Murray behind the back is one of my favorites because of the loud way that it attacks defenders. Now, if you enter a loud combo with wrong timing, take a look at the consequence right here. After the behind the back speed boost, I mistime my spin move and you enter into a dead stop. Contrast that with this loud combo right here with a perfect blend of that spin move. Just take a look at how one move flows well into the other, allowing combos to be more effective, less telegraphed, and gives you an opportunity to ride that momentum from one move to another to be more effective. Remember at the top of my video when I said that it gives you infinite combo possibilities? I'm not kidding. These are different counters that you can create making sure that you extend combos and think of ways to blend different types of animations. See, I already have five different sets of signature animation combos that I like to go to that will give me different types of dribble moves. And this is just the beginning. Let me tell you what, when, when I say that there are infinite combos in this game, I'm not exaggerating. I'll show you later on different types of Chef Curry combos using different types of dribble animations that will allow you to attack your defenders in different ways. And this is exactly how you want to build combos. I'm using animations that are not only effective in terms of attacking your defender, but also animations that blend well with each other. I mean, come on, just take a look at the smooth combo that we can create right here. First initiating that nice Murray aggressive breakdown dribble and then comboing that with a Lucas step back immediately to cut the aggressive breakdown. Combo into the Harden escape and then combo with a Paul George step back and that's just a 4 dribble sequence that allows you to attack your defender. Now here I combo the step size up combo with the Kyrie breakdown dribble. Use the Kyrie dribble style to launch on the same side and then combo with the Steph Curry hop jumper which is the best in the game and take a look at the devastation that this type of combo can create i showed you a curry at the top of the video but now you're able to combo curry dribble sigs with Kyrie dribble sigs and jamal murray dribble sigs to create an absolute amount of devastation with some best animations in the game so there you have it this video basically gives you a complete overview of how you can create different types of signature combos that will be unique to you i guarantee you that nobody has thought of this exact dribble blend because i customize this combo to my specific play style so basically that's the blueprint into creating your own combos use your creativity and all the tools the game gives to you and let me tell you if you're a glitchy or arcadey type of dribbler it's not too late to try to adapt to this new direction that NBA 2K is certainly catering towards. The tools are there, the creativity is up to you, but I just showed you how to cook in the best and smoothest way possible.